Hello and welcome back to somebody on the Football Zone and today we are reviewing um, the Premier League um, third round action um, and yeah, um, starting off with Chelsea 3, Luton 0, a comfortable win for um, Chelsea and yeah, Raheem Sterling coming out the good 17th, 68th minute and Nicholas Jackson 75th minute um, with the goals um, for the Chelsea and yeah, a big win for Chelsea, obviously not being the ideal start to the season for them um, but yeah, hopefully they can gain momentum here. Luton, yeah, maybe you could say they could be themselves, it's still 1-0 down to 70th minute but you know, um, yeah, still look a way off but I think Chelsea a really important win for them even against not the best opposition moving on then to um bournemouth nil tottenham two at um the vitality it was james madison in the 17th minute and dayan kulafesvi in the 63rd minute and um, giving um tottenham um the 2 0 win and yeah they keep marching on under Ange ball don't they um yeah, it's looking really positive so far. They were definitely the best team here. How are the Bournemouth? Obviously going to take Bournemouth to a bit of time under a new manager to adapt. And Tottenham, though, hitting the ground, running under range. And yeah, I think it's been a very positive start. About as positive as you can expect with no Harry Kane. But moving on then to um, Manchester United. Um, and yeah, a dramatic comeback. 3-2 win over uh, Nottingham Forest. Because Forest were tuning up in after four minutes through goals from Aaron Ie and Bowley. Um, but Eriksen um, and Casemiro made it 2-2 before Warrell was sent off. Bruno Fernandes in 76 minute from the spot made it 3-2 to seal the dramatic win um for United um and yeah big win at that for them too um and yeah you'd say after the first few minutes United were the best team and definitely did deserve the victory but we're given a scare and they just can't afford to start games like that because against best teams they most definitely will be furnished moving on then to Everton nil Wolves won at um at Goodison Park, and yeah, it was um, Klajic in the last minute, 87 minutes, sorry, um, who gave Wolves the victory, and yeah, it was quite an even game, one team was always, you just felt was going to nick it, and it happened to be Wolves on this occasion, and yeah, that you feel could be a big, big blow for Everton, um, because yeah, um, a game like this, they really will be targeting, but Gary O'Neill getting crucial results like he did last year, um, so yeah, uh, it's disappointing for um, Everton, um, but yeah, massive win for Wolves. Moving on then to... Um, Brentford uh, and they drew 1-1 at home to Crystal Palace uh, and yeah an intriguing one this one it was Jaide who gave Brentford lead in the 18th minute before Anderson in the 76th minute uh, leveled things up for Palace um, and yeah I think this is a game where not much separated to so I think both teams probably in a way will be disappointed to only come back come away with a 1-1 draw um, so yeah um, an intriguing one um, but I think Early on in the season, both teams are targeting three points, but at the same time, a point is by no means a disaster. Um, Arsenal drew 2 2 with Fulham at uh, the Emirates, and yeah, after one minute, Fulham took the early lead before Saka pulled it back, and then Nketiah, two minutes after that, made it 2 1, and then Fulham made it, went down to 10 men, and he's got game over. But no, Paulinho in the 87th minute made it 2 2, um, giving Fulham uh, a surprise point with only 10 men on the pitch when they scored. Um, and yeah, Arsenal absolutely dominated this game. It kind of just shows the need to be more clinical. Fulham only 0.55 XG, and yeah, you do wonder that. That could be costly at a crucial point, but for Fulham, what a point. But for Arsenal, you kind of felt like complacency came into it. Moving on then to um, Brighton 1, West Ham 3. And yeah, this was a David Moyes masterclass. Um, yeah, sitting back and then on, on the break, West Ham did it to absolute perfection. War Prowse, Bowen, Antonio gave them the free in the league. Gross pulled one back in the 81st minute. But no, that was it. Um, West Ham held on to the win. Um, and yeah, despite Bryce dominating the game, game plan works to perfection. I think we really are seeing West Ham back to their best. Obviously, a tough start to the season, last season. But yeah, um, for Brighton, a huge um, result. Um, for them in a bad way but moving on then to uh, Man City um, defeating Sheffield United 2-1 just about getting past them Harlan missed the penalty in the 37th minute and aid up for it in the 63rd minute making it 1-0 but uh, Bogle in the 85th minute pulled one back and thought Man City could be dropping points here too um, but no Rodri in the 88th minute um made it um, 2-1 and yeah City absolutely dominated this game they should have been outside they could have easily scored 3 or 4 here but Sheffield United you've got to give credit to them they hang in the game and got their reward late on but yeah they'll be absolutely gutted not to hold on the point because yeah really when you get into that position I think you have to but moving on then to um, Burnley 1 Villa 3 at Turf Moor another tough day for Burnley Matty Cash with 2 goals in the first 20 minutes made it 2-0 before um, Lyle Forster um, made it 2-1 in the 47th minute and Diarbe in the 61st minute made it 3-1 um, and yeah um, Villa, big win for them. And I think, yeah, fully deserves it. For Burnley, I don't know, it just seems to be a tough start to life for them in the Premier League. Not really adapting 
to life, but I think it will take time. Of course it will. Um, so yeah, um, for that, for Villa though, a big win. They gain momentum after that tough first day. But moving on then to Newcastle, um, and yeah, a shocking result here. They went one of that from Anthony Gordon in the 25th minute. Virgil van Dijk was sent off three minutes after that, and you thought it was game over. But no, Darwin Nunes, two goals in the last 10 minutes, giving Liverpool um, the most shocking win here. Did not see that coming. But for Newcastle, um, yeah, they'll be wondering how they didn't win this. They dominated the game, and for Liverpool to come out 10 minutes, unbelievable team spirit. And yeah, I think this really is a sign that we're getting back to the Liverpool of old. Um, and yeah, I think that's incredibly exciting um, for uh, all parties here, really. But anyway, guys, this is the video. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Next up, it's going to be a daily football news. And subscribe to the channel. It's going to be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.